A short motorcycle trip on a Tuesday afternoon, a sunny Tuesday afternoon. I am at the site, that little building there, that used to be known as the Stonewall Jackson Shrine, but is now called the place where Stonewall Jackson died. It's where he was taken after his arm was amputated and uh, he, he was wounded at the Battle of Chancellorsville and taken by an ambulance cart down bumpy roads to the spot where he contracted pneumonia and died. As the stone says, Stonewall Jackson died May 10th, 1863, buried in Lexington, Virginia. It used to be known as the Stonewall Jackson Shrine until a very loud group of people decided that Confederates were somehow more objectionable than Democrats, and so they managed to get it renamed. The farm across the lawn is all that remains of the once sprawling plantation called Fairfield. War comes to Fairfield. War brought profound changes to the Chandler family, Fairfield, and the slaves who toiled on the plantation. Three of Thomas Chandler's sons enlisted in the Confederate Army. When the Union Army occupied Fredericksburg in 1862, many of Chandler's slaves seized freedom, leaving the family without its customary workforce. In December 1862, the Confederates established a major supply depot at Guinea Station, just a few hundred feet from, just a few hundred yards from Fairfield's back door, that way. Guinea Station is that way. Camps sprawled across the plantation. Stonewall Jackson himself camped here for a week, declining the Chandler's offer to stay in the house. Instead, he pitched a tent nearby. By 1863, Chandler had had enough. He sold Fairfield, but before the Chandlers could move away, Fairfield's most famous visitor would return yet again. This time, not to camp, but to die. Jackson's death here propelled the plantation to a fame it had never known. A staggering blow. News of Stonewall Jackson's death stunned the South. A greater sense of loss and deeper grief never followed the death of mortal man, recorded one of Jackson's men. Union soldiers felt both joy and lament. I rejoice at Stonewall Jackson's death as a gain to our cause, wrote Union General Governor Warren. Yet in my soldier's heart, I cannot but see him the best soldier of all this war and grieve his untimely end. Boy, that's gallant. Jackson's death felt heaviest on General Robert E. Lee. He had come to rely on Jackson to carry out his plans, and Jackson had seldom failed him. Such an executive officer the sun never shone on, Lee once said of his subordinate. I have but to show him my design, and I know that if it can be done, it will be done. With Stonewall gone, Lee would never again achieve the success he had gained at Chancellorsville. Above, Jackson's wife Mary Anna and her daughter Julia Jackson. Mary Anna never remarried, wore mourning clothes the remainder of her life, and became the most revered Civil War widow in the South. This site is a part of the Fredericksburg and Spotsylvania National Military Park, which includes Spotsylvania Courthouse site, Bloody Angle, the Spotsylvania Battlefield, Stonewall Jackson Shrine, they have the old wording here, Battle of Fredericksburg, Battle of Salem Church, Battle of Chancellorsville, Battle of the Wilderness. There's a lot to see. And they have a mask required. Wearing a face mask is required in this building, regardless of vaccination status. Your lame federal government in action. I was in this building once before in 1988 after doing a Civil War reenactment of the Battle of Chancellorsville. It was one of the 125th series. Me and another reenactor came down here to check this site out. I've never been here. The uh, ceiling joists are very low in there. And I remember I walked into one and literally saw stars. I think my forehead was bleeding a little bit too. The uh, reenactor who was with me laughed and said, that's what you get for dissing Stonewall. 
indeed. I was a, a union partisan in Civil War reenacting. Dad's from Brooklyn, mom's from New Hampshire. And so I didn't take this whole lost cause stuff Confederate reenactors went for very seriously. So I guess the, the spirit of Stonewall got its revenge. Look at the size of this tree. Wow, that's a big maple. <laughs>